Hello everyone, my name is Marcio Di Vece and I'm a PhD student at IBT Luca. And uh, uh, I will discuss today uh, my recent work uh, called the Gravity Model on Networks, Integrating Maximum Entropy and Econometric Approaches under the supervision of Professor Diego Galaschelli and, T and Professor Tizio Squartini. The main goal of such research is that of improving econometric gravity models uh, using maximum entropy formalism. In fact, uh, the econometric gravity models are very good in estimating the weights of the World Trade Web, which is our uh, network uh, consisting of nodes uh, as countries and uh, trade linkages. Whereas maximum entropy models can be useful in order to estimate both the network structure and uh, the weights. And a good reproduction of network structure is indeed necessary because economic shocks uh, depend on the uh, adjacency matrix. Uh, so we define a set of models derived for the, from the maximum entropy principle, uh, which can take topological information and uh, estimate the weights using a uh, uh, dyadic specification. We start by discussing the traditional gravity model where uh, countries are seen as particles that uh, exchange uh, trade volumes um, as uh, uh, gravity force, which will depend will be dependent on the universal uh, universal constant, uh, GDPs, uh, and inversely proportional to the distances between the countries. Uh, then here we used alpha, beta, and gamma as uh, uh, parameters uh, in order to estimate the impact of the covariance on the uh, trade volumes. The pro of such model is that of estimating very well the uh, positive weights, but uh, uh, it estimates also a fully connected network, which is in contrast to, in contrast to our scope. In the following, we use ZIJ as the uh, gravity specification. Econometricians, in order to solve the problem, as uh, modeled uh, trade volumes as uh, Poisson distributed, uh, which same uh, expected value and variance, uh, which is a very high limitation. In fact, uh, it can give a a biased amount of uh, zeros so that a network structure is not well reproduced, or instead they use the negative binomial, which introduces an additive uh, parameters alpha in order to increase the variance. Then, if uh, the figures given by Poisson and negative binomial are not uh, satisfactory, uh, two step models can be used, as for example, zero inflated models where a first logit step and a second uh, Poisson or negative binomial step are jointly estimated. Uh, the inflated uh, models uh, jointly uh, increase the uh, number of estimated zeros, which can be a good thing or a negative thing, because if, uh, if uh, negative binomial, for example, already overestimate the number of zeros, that zero inflated negative binomial will be more biased. And such models are biased in the topological prediction. Why? Uh, has, as uh, Duane has and Fagiola pointed out in 2011, uh, comparing ordinary squares on the fixed uh, empirical topology and uh, Poisson and zero inflated Poisson uh, that estimate topology we see that even if there is no bias for a total weight, there is a, a significant bias in the estimation of average neighbor's uh, strength. Then uh, we solve this problem using a, a maximum entropy principle and we maximize conditional Shannon entropy, uh, where uh, this is the functional uh, that sees uh, variation, 
uh, possible configuration in the adjacency matrix and in the weighted matrix given the adjacency matrix. And the sum is overall uh, weighted uh, matrices uh, which are compatible with A. This function is subject to normalization of the conditional distribution and uh, to uh, available data information given as constraints and results in a, a canonical form which can be uh, still factorized in link-specific distribution. And in the undirected and discrete case, we see a geometric-like distribution where z0 uh, is due in order to reproduce uh, total weight, and zj is the gravity specification. Once uh, the conditional distribution is, uh, uh, is uh, found, we can choose separately uh, for the topological part that can be given by an undirected binary configuration with Xi Lagrangian multiplier, uh, which constrain the degrees, or uh, the fitness on SATS, the fitness model, where uh, the number of links is uh, tuned uh, with, is, is estimated, uh, tuning the delta. Or we can solve the non-conditional Shannon entropy uh, requiring two possible uh, constraint Hamiltonian, one uh, where we constrain the number of links and the total weight, and the other one where we constrain the degree sequence and the total weight, and where the beta j are the uh, are parameters that are function of the gravity specification. The data that we used is uh, uh, by Gladich for year 2000 and includes iterate volumes, GDP values, and geographical uh, distances. After preprocessing and uh, symmetrization, we have a network of 176 countries with a density of, the, of uh, 63% and a total weight of about uh, six uh, trillion dollars. Uh, seeing uh, uh, different statistics such as true positive rate, specificity, precision, and accuracy, the models which constrain the degree sequence are the best performing, both for the basket of maximum entropy model, models and the econometric models. So we could think that the degree information uh, not uh, increase, yes, the prediction of the network structure, but also overfit the data because we increase by n minus one the number of parameters. That is not true as pointed out by selection criteria such as uh, Akaik and Bayesian. As we see, the, the EGM2 and EGMTS, which are the models that constrain the degree sequence, uh, systematically reduce uh, their uh, selection criteria with respect to their uh, analogs, uh, which constrain the number of links. Instead, for the econometric basket, we see that uh, uh, negative binomial is the best performing. Finally, we see the uh, plots for higher order statistics, in this case for average neighbor's degree, uh, binary cluster coefficient, average neighbor strength, and weighted cluster coefficient for EGM2 and negative binomial. We see that uh, the weighted cluster coefficient is defined as a linear function of the weights, so it's usually well reproduced by all the, uh, all the models that reproduce as well the weights, so that the trends are similar between EGM2 and negative binomial. Instead, in the network statistics where the uh, reproduction of the network structure is the main factor, we see that uh, while a uh, negative binomial uh, performs uh, uh, very uh, below expectations, uh, the uh, EGM2 uh, performs very well in uh, reproducing the trends. Finally, uh, we saw that the models which constrain the degree are better performing both for selection criteria and uh, uh, for the reproduction of trends. Uh, which uh, can be seen as a confirmation of the so-called irreducibility uh, conjecture. Then EGM2 performs better than econometric models, both for selection criteria and trends. Uh, EGMs are 
analytical models uh, by product of the maximum entropy principle, which can take any dynamic specification, and we can develop more this work using more sophisticated specification and uh, developing the case for the directed networks. Thank you very much.